So week three of the Ridings FM A to Z of the Wakefield District, last week at Bellevue Stadium, this week we move on to the letter C, I think it's more obvious where I am today, we're at Wakefield Cathedral. So we're headed inside to Wakefield Cathedral. As a Wakefield lad, I've seen over the last couple of years the, uh, the total raised fund on the tower getting up and up ever so slightly more and more and more. And uh, a regular visit to Wakefield Cathedral, I pop into Wakefield and come in and, and see how the works have progressed in two stages. And I'm very pleased to say that the second stage of uh, the renovations has recently been completed and with the, the Dean of Wakefield, Jonathan Green. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, nice to see you. Thank morning you for coming to see, to see yeah. No problem. Well, a, a lovely morning. The stained glass window is looking absolutely fantastic with the sunshine. So tell us a little bit more about the, the, the actual renovation work in the well, over five years, we've renewed the cathedral, actually, from top to bottom and east to west. Uh, we've put a new roof on. Uh, we've done the inside completely. first stage was to do the nave, which is the main body of the cathedral. Um, that was, we finished in 2013. And then yesterday, we rededicated this end of the cathedral, um, the choir and east end. Um, it was dirty. It was dangerous, the lights were failing, the heating was failing, the sound was failing, and we've done it all. And we've done the crypt as well, and we have restored many of the stained glass windows in this east, in this end of the cathedral. So we've actually given it a really good makeover. It looks fit for the 21st century now, doesn't it, really? It feels fit for the 21st century. One of the things that's really pleased us is how many people now come through our doors to use us for all sorts of purposes. So as well as worship, and we do that every day, um, we have concerts, we have exhibitions, we've had dinners in the cathedral, uh, all sorts of things that we couldn't possibly do when it was full of uh, pews. 